<laughs> Love it, you know. Please, can you wheel it? No, no. And oh. Whoa, whoa, how did we get here? I gotta tell you about this from the beginning. I'm gonna tell you everything I know about e-bikes. It's a long one, baby. You gotta stick around, but this is how you're not gonna get your bike seized by the Pope. Oh, we're traveling across the UK Northwest. Check out the site and learn some new things today, baby. Watch the whole video, cause this one's a banger, boy. Let's go, let's get it. My boy riding with me. Stay on your left, boy. All right, we're gonna hit a nice little left over here. Yeah, brake check type of thing. Oh my days, downhill, and I only got one brake today. Oh my days, we're gonna die tonight. Hey, hey, holy shit. Ah! <laughs> anyway, down there, guys. Gee, you know the thing, no chain over here. We don't need no chain. What chain, black? What chain? No chain on my bike. Why? This is an exciting, yes, a very exciting e bike law change in the US. The gardens, blood. Now many people have got the virginity right here, the John's Gardens. <laughs> yeah, you know. Ask your girlfriend. No chain on my electric mountain bike. I used a conversion kit to make. Yes, hub motor converted DIY style, not store bought. Totally illegal. Ha! Unless you know a little loophole that I'm gonna share with you got to watch the whole video to be in on the loophole as there's an e-bike law update i'm also gonna share everything i know about e-bikes and the e-bike world to maybe help you make a couple decisions help you choose between buying an e-bike or building an e-bike so let's start from the basic people what is an e-bike and what is the difference between an e-bike and an electric bike in summary, the terms e-bike and electric bike refer to the same thing. A bicycle that is powered by an electric motor. While there are different types of electric bikes, there is no technical legal distinction between these two terms. Here's everything you need to know. Hey, come on, link down below. You know, come on. As e-bikes continue to rise in popularity across the UK and the world, some reports suggest electric bike sales reached more than 1 million in 2024 this year just in the UK alone bro which is more than four times the number of e-bikes sold in 2023 yo anyways moving along is it hard to ride an e-bike or electric bicycle whichever way you want to put it while it does differ from riding a regular bike most e-bike newbies get the hang of it quickly typically it only takes one test ride for the body's muscle memory to adapt to the feel of a pedal assist machine what? yo Shoot. this one no games aim play yeah 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 oh let's talk more action what the generally speaking e-bikes are bicycles with a battery powered assist that comes via pedaling and in some cases a throttle like my bike it's got two throttles with full send baby when you push the pedals on a pedal assist e-bike a small motor engages or in my case a big motor ha giving you a boost so you can zip up hills cruise over tough terrain without outgassing yourself puffing none of that no more in addition to the pedal assist feature some e-bikes come with a throttle that engages the motor with the press of a button and the dog is like what's going on <laughs> cool of the throttle twist and go baby these belong to a separate bike, class of e-bike that obviously doesn't offer pure cycling experience they are also illegal in some areas important note that you might get your bike seized if you don't pay attention to your local rules yes you will ride more if you ride a lot already if you get yourself an e-bike getting an e-bike can dramatically increase how often you ride according 
to a survey of nearly 1,800 e-bike owners. 55% of respondents said they rode daily or weekly before e-bike life. After buying an e-bike, the number soared to 91%. While you may not be conditioned to ride 5 to 10 miles at a time, you can cover those distances so easily on an electrical assisted. Everyone rode Forest 110s, yeah? Check mine up. Yeah, cuz. I mean, come on now, yes, British muscle over here. Two e bikes have to be pedal assisted. Some e bikes don't need to have their pedals in motion for the motor to be engaged. Some manufacturers produce bikes controlled by a throttle just the throttle only just like my bike you can view on this channel which can be twisted to start without pedaling at all like mine <clears throat> no chain on my pedals so we can twist to go hence the name twist and go machines that brings us to the subject e-bike law what is the uk law on e-bikes you can ride an electric bike if you're over the age of 14 so if you're 27 you're good to go man as long as it meets certain requirements these electric bikes are known as electrically assisted pedal cycles in short eapc you do not need a license to ride one which is exciting news for the future generations coming up yes yes yeah. uk northwest we're in saint helens right now gaza strip boy these are the mandem round here future generations you get me the mandem Come on now, yes, yes, yes. Hey, yeah, yeah, come here, come here. What is that on your arm? Oh, shit. Hey. Look at that pose, blood. A drip check, come on. One tens over here with the fresh grey cargoes. Hey. Still holding the watch out, blood. Check out the bling ice cold. Up oh, most respect to these man. They're doing one mile long wheelies out here, man. I need to learn how to wheelie. Maybe one day, teach me how it's done. Oh, man. Can you wheelie that thing? That'd be cool seeing that doing wheelies. Wheelies! Can you wheelie it? No, no, okay, not your type of thing. Okay, so I'll try it. <laughs> security, highly important. Anyways, moving along. Can a 13 year old or younger kid ride an electric bike in the UK? Believe it or not, people, yes, you can. To answer it briefly, kid e bikes are legal. Oh, my guy got that pizza blood, I wish. Really? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah? Oh, come on now. Yeah. It's heaven right now. We've been out a few hours, so it's heaven. Thank you. I'm lovely, man. Nice, bro. I got phone phones out here. Yo, come on. So let's see. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Subscribe. Yes. Stay safe tonight, yeah? More tents around there. This way, this way, this way. More than you know. difference between these and the regular cycle that you must be 14 years old to ride and over EAPC which is electrically assisted pedal cycle in the UK must ride them on road if they are 14 years old and over under 13 years old keep it off road like on a mountain bike trail or private roads or private land you with it you can go off road with your 10 year old with the bike that you built for them and you can go enjoy a trail ride instead of binge drinking like my man over here Mr. sausage dog you know
Yeah. Thank you, mate. No, I'm fine. Love Liverpool. So Thank helpful. You. Yeah? Mate. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, hopefully get home safe, man. Alright. Uh, do you poly stop e-bikes? Yes, sunny boy. They do, unfortunately. Five illegal e-bikes and e-scooters are seized every week by the City of London's police cycle team. In a crackdown against souped-up bicycles like mine, since July last year, 140 illegal e-bikes and e-scooters have been seized and taken off the road. There's a legal, there's a loophole around these people, right? Now, let me let you in on a little secret. Loophole to not have your high-powered e-bike seized is to have a restriction mode. You with me? For road use and never be caught or seen doing more than 15 miles an hour on public highways, roads, etc. Yeah, 15 miles an hour is your limit, boy. You going more than that? You asking for it? I'm not feel sorry for you, man. Your bike deserves to be taken. You shouldn't be doing more than that on the roads. That's what the law states, right? Three, two, one. Send it. <laughs> I'm gone. Come on now. You gotta respect the laws. I personally ride a bike with more than 1000 watt power up output, yeah, which is a bit illegal. We'll get to the power output properly a little later in the video, stick around. I have even shown this to traffic police officers that my bike is more than what the legal limit is. But check me out now, there's a loophole trick to keeping your modified bike legal, yeah. Just do not use the extra power on the roads. How can you prove to an officer that you're not gonna use the extra power on the roads? Mode, baby. You gotta have a mode for road use and a mode for off-road use. You with me? I have two motors. One motor for road use, 250 watts, and one motor for extreme off-road use. 1,000 odd watts at the back, baby. You know, but that's strictly for off-road use. Because of that reason, my bike is legal. All I've got to do as a rider is ride it responsibly. Be responsible, man, and actually use the two modes for the correct riding conditions. Anything above 250 watts is strictly for mountain bike trails off road by law. Oh, and hello. I use a 1000 watt e bike in the UK. Technically, no. You understand? No, as there is a maximum power legally allowed in the e bike law that's a maximum power output of 250 watts limited to 15.5 that's 15 and a half miles per hour top speed 250 watts of power that's the maximum you're allowed on the uk roads but now if you've got a mode that restricts you for that for on road you're good you switch your mode you go off road 1000 up what no one cares what you do off road you can go and crash on your own off road no one cares no one will help you unfortunately anyways moving along e-bikes in the uk are limited to a maximum power output of 250 watts and the motor must cut out once the bike reaches 15.5 15 and a half miles an hour the motor stops pushing you along yes you can cycle faster if you can but your motor should not push you faster than that. That's the legal law. This means that e-bikes can assist the rider but cannot be ridden solely on the power of the electric motor above 15 miles an hour. Do this, get seen by the law, you get your bike seized and probably penalty points on the license and yada yada yada. You don't want them games, bro. You don't want them, all right? Just stick to the law and don't ruin it for everyone. Ride responsibly. Do e-bikes charged by pedaling electric bikes with regenerative braking is actually a thing just like tesla electric cars so yes it is possible to charge your e-bike by pedaling but not common generally speaking most electric bikes do not charge when you pedal they need their batteries to be plugged into a power outlet to be powered however some models offer the possibility of charging while you pedal although this is often very inefficient you can upgrade an e-bike to have regenerative braking by swapping out the e-bike controller for one with the correct features maybe time to stop paying for gas petrol diesel etc as batteries continue to improve 
there's no getting around it e-bikes give you yet another device to charge right now you can expect your battery to last anywhere from 35 to 100 miles before you need to recharge where you fall in that range depends on the size of your pockets boy if you got money and you spend the money out trust me you're gonna give you 200 miles with the batteries out here nowadays anyway this this level where you fall whether you're doing 35 miles or 100 miles it's really about your money because the size of the battery really matters the bigger your battery the more it costs money and how much power it will actually be drawn from your battery etc so if you can afford 400 pounds for your battery that's nice you can travel quite a nice distance if you've only got 20 pounds in your pocket <clears throat> anyways moving along oh my god that's thing okay okay let's move along yeah you don't want to stop here you're gonna get the virus Coffee. you can't really get a cheap e-bike just yet unless you watch my videos i show you ways to do cheap bikes the cheapest bike i've built cost me 50 pounds it's all second hand parts but this bike does 50 miles an hour 50 not 50 50 50 so watch my videos there's quite a few links down below or go to my channel check out my videos and show you how we build diy motorcycle style e-bikes using conversion kits in brief you cannot get a cheap e-bike just yet unless you use a conversion kit e-bike hub motor conversion kits watch my videos people i got the plug i'm the plug for this kind of thing anyways moving along if you keep your car in the garage more often you will save cash on maintenance on the car petrol not to mention the added health benefits and potentially fewer sick days from getting more exercise on your e-bike prices of e-bikes vary widely but you should expect to pay at least $1,500 or about £1,000 for a decent e-bike. Considerably more, $2,500 to $5,000 for a quality e-bike with a motor system from a major manufacturer like Bosch, Shimano, Yamaha. Or you can build a my style. Check out my channel, people. You can build a bike for £50. Come on now. Get you about A to B type of tank. I wait. They are hefty the first thing many cyclists do when checking out a new bike is give it a lift to gauge the weight you are in for a little scale shock if you try it out with an e-bike the battery motor extra components and reinforced frame make e-bikes inherent inherently heavier than standard bikes to the tune of about 20 extra pounds or about 9 to 10 kilograms modern geometry and engineering help them handle well despite their weight and obviously the motor assist makes the extra pounds disappear when you start to pedal or in my case pull the throttle twist and go yes we go anyways they are the future of transportation every major bike manufacturer and literally dozens of smaller ones is in the e-bike game Car companies aren't far behind either. Ford bankrolled an electric bike share system in San Francisco in 2000, back in 2018. That was rebranded, rebranded by Lyft in 2019. And GM launched two e-bikes. Uh, positive trend. Did you wear wheelies? No, I can't. Oh, no no wheelies, no. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, yeah. but uh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but I will, I will uh, practice. You practiced? All right, that's yeah, it, that's it. Practice about. makes perfect, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, man. Yes, 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 you have a good night. This is for us. Following suit, the UCI, which is the Union Cyclist International, first included an electric mountain bike competition back in 2019 World Mountain Bike Championship. Yes. Rainbow Jersey was awarded to the world's best off-road e-biker. In brief, the loophole is to build yourself an electric bicycle. Not a saron. Not allowed. Get yourself an electric bicycle built or bought, right? And make sure you've got a mode that keeps you at 15 and a half miles an hour maximum speed. That is your loophole to ride your high powered mountain bike or electric bike on the uk roads loophole 